Imagine you are surfing the web, clicking through your favorite sites, unaware that beneath the surface there are vulnerabilities just waiting to be exploited. Welcome to the world of web hacking realm, where curiosity meets code, and security is always one step behind the attacker. In this video, we will dive deep into the techniques that hackers use to uncover weaknesses, how they exploit them, and most importantly, how you can defend against these attacks. Whether you're a beginner looking to understand the basics or someone with some experience wanting to sharpen your skills, this journey will arm you with the knowledge to navigate the complex and ever-evolving landscape of web security. Let's explore the hidden side of the web and reveal the secrets that keep it secure or make it vulnerable. Disclaimer, the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. We do not endorse or condone illegal activity. Always use your knowledge responsibly and ensure you have proper authorization before testing or securing web applications. SQL injection, which is a web hacking technique where an attacker manipulates a website database query by injecting malicious SQL code through input fields. This vulnerability arises when user input is not properly sanitized, allowing the attacker to execute arbitrary SQL commands. For example, consider a login form where a user enters their username and password. If the backend query is something like an attacker could input the following into the username field, this changes the query to the condition 1 equal to 1 is always true, which allows the attacker to bypass the authentication and gain unauthorized access to the system. SQL injection can lead to data breaches, data loss, and, in severe cases, full control over the database. Properly validating and sanitizing user input is crucial to preventing these attacks. Cross-site scripting or XSS. Cross-site scripting is a type of web vulnerability where an attacker injects malicious scripts into web pages that are viewed by other users. For example, imagine a comment section on a blog where users can post messages. If the website does not properly sanitize input, an attacker could post a comment containing a script instead of text. When other users view that comment, the malicious script runs in their browsers. This script could steal their session cookies, which are used to maintain login sessions, allowing the attacker to hijack their accounts. XSS exploits the trust a user has in a website, making it a powerful tool for attackers to steal data, spread malware, or perform actions on behalf of the user without their consent. Cross-Site Request Forgery, or CSRF. Cross-Site Request Forgery is a type of attack where a malicious actor tricks a user into performing actions they did not intend to on a web application where they are authenticated. Example of a CSRF attack, where an attacker manipulates a user to unknowingly perform actions such as posting a status update or changing account details. Imagine a social media site where users can post status updates after logging in. The legitimate request to post a status update might look like this. In a CSRF attack, the attacker crafts a malicious HTML page that sends a request to post a status update on behalf of the victim. When the victim, who is logged into the social media platform, visits this malicious page, the crafted request is automatically submitted without their knowledge. The attacker hosts this malicious page and tricks the victim into visiting it, perhaps by sending a link through email or chat. Since the victim is already authenticated on the social media site, their browser will send the malicious request with the victim's session cookie. The social media platform receives the request and assumes it's legitimate, causing the victim's status to update too without their consent. CSRF exploits the trust a website has in the user browser, potentially leading to unauthorized transactions, changes to account settings, or other harmful actions, all without the user knowledge. Remote code execution. Remote code execution is a critical vulnerability that allows an attacker to execute arbitrary code on a remote server or device. For example, suppose a website allows users to upload files without properly validating them. An attacker could upload a malicious script disguised as a legitimate file. If the server processes this file, and executes its content. The attacker code runs on the server with the same privileges as the application. This could lead to the attacker taking full control of the server, stealing sensitive data, modifying files, or launching further attacks. Remote code execution is particularly dangerous because it gives the attacker direct access to the system, often leading to complete system compromise. Server-side request forgery. Server-side request forgery is a vulnerability where an attacker tricks a server into making unauthorized requests to internal or external resources. In a typical SSRF attack, the server is manipulated into fetching or sending data that it should not have access to. For example, 
Consider a web application that allows users to input a URL to fetch and display content from another site. If the application does not properly validate the input, an attacker could input an internal URL. As server believing it's fetching an external page could inadvertently expose internal services or sensitive information like administrative interfaces, database contents, or even internal cloud metadata. SSRF can be particularly dangerous because it exploits the trust a server has in itself potentially leading to severe breaches within an organization's internal network. Insecure deserialization? Insecure deserialization is a vulnerability that occurs when untrusted data is used to reconstruct objects from serialized data, leading to potential code execution or other malicious activities. For example, consider a web application that allows users to save their preferences in a serialized object, which is then stored in a cookie, or sent back to the server for later use. If the application does not properly validate or restrict the deserialization process, an attacker could modify the serialized object before it is sent back to the server. By injecting malicious data or code into the object, the attacker could exploit the deserialization process to execute arbitrary commands on the server, gain unauthorized access, or escalate privileges. This type of vulnerability is particularly dangerous because it can lead to complete system compromise if the deserialized object is processed in a privileged context. File inclusion? File inclusion is a vulnerability that occurs when a web application allows an attacker to include files on the server, either from the local file system or from remote location. This can lead to unauthorized access to sensitive files or execution of malicious code. For example, suppose a website has a feature that allows users to view different pages based on a parameter in the URL, like the application includes the file specified by the file parameter in the page.php script. If the application does not properly validate or sanitize this input, an attacker could manipulate the URL to include a file from the server file system. This request might reveal sensitive information, such as the server's password file, which could be exploited for further attack. In a more severe case, attackers might use this vulnerability to include and execute malicious files, leading to a full server compromise. Session hijacking. Session hijacking is a technique where an attacker gains unauthorized access to a user's session, typically by stealing or intercepting session cookies or tokens. For instance, imagine you are logged into your online banking account and your session is maintained by a unique cookie stored in your browser. If an attacker manages to intercept this cookie, perhaps through an insecure connection or by exploiting a vulnerability, they can use it to impersonate you. The attacker can then perform transactions, access sensitive information, or change account settings as if they were you. This highlights the importance of securing session management and using encrypted connections to protect sensitive data from being intercepted. HTTP request smuggling? HTTP request smuggling is an attack that manipulates the way web servers and proxies handle HTTP requests. It exploits discrepancies in how different components of the web infrastructure interpret and process HTTP requests. Here's an example. Suppose a website uses a front-end proxy server, forwards requests to a back-end server. An attacker might craft a malicious HTTP request with cleverly placed headers to confuse the front-end proxy and the back-end server. For instance, The attacker sends a request with two conflicting content length headers. The front-end proxy might read the first content length header and forward only the first 13 bytes of the body to the back-end server. The back-end server, however, might read the second content length header and treat the remaining bytes as a new request. This results in the back-end server processing the additional post or malicious request as if it came from the original user. This can allow attackers to perform unauthorized actions or access sensitive data, potentially leading to severe security breach. API misconfiguration. API misconfiguration occurs when an API is not properly secured or is incorrectly set up, exposing it to potential attacks. For example, consider a public API for a weather service that allows users to retrieve weather data by sending requests to different endpoints. If the API is configured to provide access to internal endpoints or sensitive data without proper authentication or authorization checks, an attacker could exploit this vulnerability. For instance, suppose the API endpoint is meant for internal use only and should be protected. If the API is misconfigured and does not restrict access, a malicious user could directly access this endpoint through the public API, retrieving sensitive information like user profiles or personal data. This misconfiguration not only exposes sensitive data, 
but also potentially allows attackers to perform unauthorized actions, making it crucial to properly secure and configure APIs to prevent such issues. Now we wrap up our exploration of web hack. Remember that understanding these techniques is just the beginning of securing your digital world. From SQL injection to API misconfiguration, each method reveals vulnerabilities that can be exploited if left unchecked. By learning about these threats, you are better equipped to fortify your web applications and protect sensitive data. Security is an ongoing process, and staying informed is key to staying ahead of potential attackers. If you found this video insightful, Make sure to subscribe for more content on cybersecurity and web protection. Do not forget to like, share, and comment down below. Stay vigilant and keep your digital fortress secure. See you in the next one.